He's trying to chalk this all up as some kind of uh, internal liberal civil war, like the Martin Chrétien days. But this is different. This isn't about factions within caucus. This is about two strong individuals who saw something that was wrong and decided to stand up to it. So why does speaking truth to power disqualify you from sitting as a liberal? Pressuring an attorney general to interfere in a criminal proceeding. That's wrong. Kicking out two members of parliament who stood up to his abuse of power. That's unconscionable. Yeah. So again, why does telling the truth get you kicked out of the Liberal Party? Today, hundreds of determined young women are in the house with daughters of the vote. Yeah. And, and I've spoken with them, we spoke with them about the importance of getting involved and running for office. But what have they seen this week? They've seen women speak truth to power and then get shown the door. Mr. Speaker, what message is the Prime Minister sending to Canadians, particularly to young women, when he kicks out former cabinet ministers just for doing the right thing? We have 18 strong uh, women members of cabinet who lead every day on the big issues that matter to Canadians, from our place in the world to investing in resources for women's organizations, to bringing extraordinary young women uh, to Ottawa on a day like this from every corner of the country. We will continue to lead the way in a way that matters to Canadians and to this world.